Alright. So if you're unfamiliar with this mod, this is called Stalker Anomaly. There is a firefight right outside the base. So let me go figure out what that is first. Yeah, so from my limited understanding, this is a mod uh, created by a community of modders. Yeah, there's something out there. A community of modders um, based on the Stalker series and Uh, made by a community of modders based on the Stalker series, and um, it is awesome. Uh, as you can tell, it's, uh, it's a lot of procedural gameplay with the random environments. Maybe. Yes, sir. Uh, abs absolutely, sir. Maybe I'm not using the term procedural. Um, accurately here, but there's a lot of zirna, zirna. Yeah, you keep on it. Um, with the random encounters and the, the multiple um, faction-based uh, things that are happening throughout the zone. Um, and it is completely 100% free. Yeah, you heard it, free. Except for the amount of hard drive space that you will have to sacrifice to this beast of a game, which is probably like, I don't know, I think the regular stalker anomaly is like 40 to 60 gigs, where <coughs> the more modded, <coughs> excuse me, stalker gamma um, is probably peaking around 80 gigs of stuff, so. Um, yeah, if you can sacrifice it, I highly recommend um, you pick this up. So, I'm going to move away from our vendor friend here, so I don't get any copyrighted um, takedowns or whatnot. So anyway, this is my second character. I would say that I'm probably around uh, mid-tier the equipment. Um, I've got a decent set of armor, decent weapons, and um, yeah, I, I am a bandit. I decided to try something different. Uh, this one's, uh, I guess, a little bit harder if you consider faction relations uh, um, any type of, um, I guess, indication of difficulty. So I decided to try and be a bad guy this time instead of a neutral free stalker or taking the uh, super easy start of being a clear sky member. Well, I guess maybe that's not too accurate, right? Clear sky is purportedly easier. But anyway, I don't know what I'm really supposed to be doing. I'm pretty sure the last thing I was going to do was head up to Lemansk to settle two contracts, which yes, that looks like that is correct. Um, but for now, I'm still kind of working out some video issues, some hardware issues with the rig, and this could crash at any moment. So, I'm just going to go down and do the short mission here. Alright. So, I am going to take a little sip of water, because my guy is getting a little thirsty. And, uh, if you've played the game before, or if you're unfamiliar, unfamiliar with it, um, a lot of the uh, missions around your local area uh, will get recycled. Um, so I know this mission, and I will not keep that a secret, um, but I'm just kind of doing some performance-based testing here, and if this video gets posted, it gets posted, but I'm not, I'm not too invested in it. So. Another thing that I absolutely love about this mod is just the immersion when it comes to the environment. Um, there's a lot of sounds that are happening from the birds chirping to, you know, the random anomalies that are happening to things in the distance like howling or, or distant firefights. Another thing to kind of keep in tune of is that uh, mutants kind of have their own sound. So if you're just 
kind of use a tactic that I like to use. Just run a little bit, slow down, and look and listen a little bit. Not a lot of things can surprise you in the daytime. Usually, though, you can hear them coming. Nope. Okay. Thought I saw something there for a second. Uh, when it comes to this mission, sometimes the military patrols can be on the outside. Sometimes they're just kind of uh, limited to being inside this compound here, but get a little low here. Kind of take this crest. Another great thing about the game is that Another great thing about the game is that the sound um, for other, I guess the sound detection has a radius, so the lower and slower you are, the better you are. Obviously this thing heard me, but if you had listened to the audio, um, I heard some grunting. It also sounded like another one had hit an anomaly, um, so I would not be surprised if I saw another body down here. Or maybe not a body, because that one was like a gravity-based anomaly. Anom excuse me. You yeah, use your words. Anomaly, and it kind of just destroys whatever walks in there. So, but I did hear that one coming. That's why you saw me go quiet and just kind of, just kind of wait. So the weapon I'm using here is kind of new. I, I didn't use this on the previous run, so it's new to me. It's a uh, let's see, Saiga 12S. So. AK best AK based semi-automatic shotgun which a buddy of mine had one of these and he liked to hunt with it and he let me carry it on a few of our walks um, didn't really get to shoot it at anything so I can't really attest to how good it is in person but for the game whew, I tell you what if you want a good bush gun something kind of takes care of things like you just saw this is kind of the one to go with um, all right, so I'm gonna be a little careful here. Kind of take a little peek at the second floor. Also, I'll switch to my battle rifle. Okay. And like I said, this is a recycled mission, so sometimes the bad guys are on the roof there. Sometimes they're out here. Sometimes they're inside. So, again, even though it's a recycled mission, it's a little bit different every time. Alright, so we've got an anomaly right here. I'm just going to kind of give that a wide berth because regardless of what character I've ever had, that electrical base anomaly has always been an instant kill to me. So, now what we're going to do is kind of sneak our way in here. I'm going to stand up and start walking. Hopefully my footsteps don't give me away. Alright. I've yet to encounter a scenario where there's been a person here. But I'd say 100% of the time, your first guy is like right here. There he is. Alright, one shot to the face. I did do a follow-up shot just in case he didn't go down. Usually his buddy's right there. Yep, right there. Again. First shot seemed to be a kill. I heard a, a lot of yelling over here, so we'll kind of be careful about that. Okay. It's kind of third guy's usually right here around the corner. There he is. I'm going to peek out a little bit just to make sure I get a hit. Alright. One shot, one kill. Just how we like it. I don't hear... I do hear a few footsteps, but they're probably upstairs, so... Be careful to kind of check this room out. Nothing? Okay. Now, I'm going to keep walking, because I don't know if they necessarily know where I am. And the AI tend to kind of move to investigate, so... I'm just going to take it nice and slow around the corner here. In case there is a couple of bad guys waiting. Oh. 
Like I said, the AI tend to come and investigate. Um. don't hear anything else. I'll come back for the loot. Definitely want to own your objective before you come back and do any type of consolidation, so... Just gonna be careful here. A quick listen for footsteps, no one's there. Okay. Okay. The stairs are so sketchy. Especially if you're by yourself, so... Oh, there he is. Oh, he's wounded. He might... He might come back. Oh, wait. Sounds like he might be... sitting in an ambush. And... yep. Alright, there's a mission complete. IRL, one more. Okay. So there shouldn't be anybody else up here. Uh, I could go back upstairs to check, but... Military don't play friendly with anybody except for, like, monoliths, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and say that the building is clear. There's... There is something happening with an anomaly out there. I don't like it, because it sounds like something is going... Oops, something is going in and out. I don't appreciate anything that could survive an anomaly repeatedly. So, I'm going to be really liberal here on the loot, which means I'm just going to take everything. Because I'm just going to go back to my bandit base and vendor everything. Okay. Another thing, if you're familiar with this mod, um, I do have the item use animations turned off, and I do wish the mod um, would kind of let you select which animations you disable, because while I do like the immersive ones, like eating and drinking and uh, doing the other things, like imbibing in other items in the game, um, I don't like that that this assembly has its own animation. So, I would keep everything... I, if I could keep the item animations on for everything else, I would. But only because it's tied to disassembly, like, click a disassemble here, you would go to, like, a short... Those are footsteps. So, you would go to a short cutscene of disassembly, and that just takes way too much time in my opinion. So, do a quick quick set here. Well, because I'm not playing on hardcore hardcore mode, so I really don't care. But there's somebody outside the building. Check the PDA. I do have an upgraded PDA that shows friendlies. No friendlies, so whoever's outside is a bad guy. Or mutant. Uh, but like I was saying, um, I do have all the item animations turned off, so it does. If you could just let us decide which item animation to keep, that would be great. Because I would keep all of the other ones, including the healing ones. Um, because that does give it an extra bit of immersion, where if you're going to bandage yourself, it's not immediate and you can't just run and gun during it. You would have to actually, you know, find like a lull or seek some cover, get in the cover, then hopefully you can get your bandage off before you get shot in the face. So. As of now, that is not the case. So it's currently turned off. Okay. Now if you look in the lower left hand corner, I got a little uh, encumbrance symbol there. I can still run. I've noticed from my build that my absolute can't move limits like 105 kilos. So I'm still good for now, but my movement and maneuver is slightly affected. So do another quick save and then I'm gonna go see who was walking around out here. Uh, I can also pop a caffeine pill right here. Just kind of help me out a little bit. Take a little sippy sip IRL. Delicious. And see who's over here. Um, again, the random encounters in the game. So who knows what those footsteps could be. 
they're not coming up on my advanced PDA, so I would probably assume free stalkers back here. Residual military. Probably gonna talk a little bit less because I wanna right here. Listen for the footsteps. Again, there's, there's something hitting an anomaly back there. like there's no hole in this wall, so I am just probably going to Diddy Mau Mau. Can I walk without st stamina hit? Yes, I can. Okay. So I really don't care anymore. I'm just going to get out of here. Can I run? I can, but you notice the green bar in the bottom left starts depleting dramatically, so That anomaly is right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. Um, and go to the nearest vendor. Alright, I don't know if that was an environmental sound or in a mob, so it's kinda like a hoot. I would imagine a silverback gorilla would hoot. That's what it sounded like. Alright. Okay. 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 Whew. Got a bit of a chills there. Um, just from the uh, environmentals and the ambiance, but I think I'm good. Back on the road. Roads are kind of safe. Okay. Again, that's another one that I don't know if it was environmental or something's in the distance. So, let's see if I can run a little bit. Again, mining my stamina bar in the bottom left. Alright, super tired. Try and skirt these anomalies here. Get into the bandit. I hear somebody talking. Alright, seek, seek a little bit of cover. Check the PDA. Again, I did have enough money, so I splurged and bought the advanced PDA that shows friendlies. So it's probably that bandit right there. Uh, I guess it's like some sort of internal faction. Uh, faction locator? based on your alliances, so I can see everyone who's a bandit and people who are friendly to bandits. Now, obviously if you think that's game-breaking, um, you can go ahead and just stick to the normal or mid-tier PDFs. Um, but, I figure, why not splurge on myself? Because the zone is unforgiving enough. Uh, another thing that's like defaulted on is like a crosshair and then it kind of coupled with the crosshair is, um, I guess, a, a HUD-based IFF. So if you have your crosshairs on and then you hover over people for a while, even in regards to the distance, like it will show you what faction it, uh, they belong to. So I kind of wanted to uh, give myself a little bit of added immersion and difficulty with the uh, with the crosshair turned off. So. Um, so again, I'm kind of forced to either, you know, blind fire or use the sights, and it's not as easy to find out who's who. So, all right, bud. Good job for you. Collect some money. I'm just a vendor some of this equipment. I'm pretty sure I have a number of these items, so 
I might just edit this part of the video out. I'm just gonna sell all my old stuff. All the random stuff that I don't know is valuable. So, I just don't know what I don't know, right? Okay. All this other stuff is gonna go to the technician. I don't see anything else worth selling to this guy, so I'll sell. I do have a stash here, which is kind of like a uh, thing that I like to do. Is uh, keep a stash nearby the big bases that I frequent, so that I can just dump stuff that you know I don't know that I'm gonna need later. Which is like decent rounds for guns that I don't own, and uh, you know, because who knows if I just want to switch it up. So here's kind of my, some of my earlier weapons. That's kind of kind of cool to look back on the evolution of where I started, right? Which is like a pistol, and maybe a, a Taz or an MP. 133 and then slowly as I got money I was kind of able to afford the better things in life so alright I'm going to run over to the technician I'm no longer over encumbered so run over here now don't be mip about it but I just basically sell all the parts and stuff I don't I think with the current settings that I have, I don't believe there's any cost advantage, at least that I've noticed, that kind of making and tweaking your own items gives you over just having this guy fix all your stuff up. So I do tend to keep like one or two items um, for re field repair bonuses. Um, if you just notice, I hovered over like my armor to see which one of the broken down items down here are also highlighted, which means they're associated, and it means there's a, re a repair bonus um, tied to that item. So I, I kind of keep like one or two of those, and I just sell everything else. Just in case I'm in the field after a long firefight, and I need to do some repairs on my own, so. All right, so I'll sell that. Got some sharpening stones, and I'm just gonna use those real quick on items that I do have. Repair. Because I don't really care about taking this to the field. Uh, why not? Which again, it's uh, really up to you guys. So, however you guys want to play the game. For me, I just kind of go and let my technician just kind of repair my stuff. So, small repair for less than a K? Sure. No repairs there. Small small repair, 300 bucks. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see if I can repair that for 100. Maybe this one, 200. That's fine. You guys cost like 3k, so and repair that. Okay, so fully repaired, and I'm ready to head back out. All right. Let's see. Where should I be heading to next? Oh. Turns out that uh, Mr. Sultan there, bandit faction leader, has something that I also completed. Which maybe it was a twofer. I'm going to take this less travel road of this underground link between vendors and boss man to get over there. Cardio in. Get no steps. Right here. Around the corner. Job is done. Thanks. Is there anything else you want? So, uh, I probably have those in a stash, but you got anything else? Squatters, that's another recycled job, so don't feel it, like dealing with that right now. And, okay, never mind, bye. I think. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what he said. Fun fact I did uh, kind of set up the Google Translate next to uh, my speakers one day, just, well, you know, sitting around a bonfire. Oh, oh I need to be upstairs. Just kind of figure out if, like, they're speaking real. Um, Russian, and yeah, uh, about 95% of the time Google Translate was spitting out exactly what they were saying, which 
there's actual stuff about the zone and how they're feeling and things they miss, so kind of cool. Alright, back into the hole. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, I think I might actually take a little break here, maybe pause it before I head back out, so... I think, um, I might end, you might end up seeing a cut here. Alright, we are back after a short break, and... It is nighttime, which is a great time to travel if you want to be terrified, so... Uh, looks like Butcher ну, типа, has something, and there's also looks like a uh, well, yeah, that might actually be worth it. Oh my goodness, and yeah, yeah, we can go over there. We can grab a couple of stashes. One, two, three regular ones, and then a purple one, which usually has something for your technician or something that you want to keep. Uh, so yeah, we can go knock that out. So, let's see, check, alright, kind of weighted down, especially with all these patches. Yeah. It's okay, I'll be okay. I'm just going to come back here after that, so. And it's definitely going to be night time by the time that I get done. Alright, let's, uh... Go ahead and move out. Oh, another thing I might have to edit out. Quick text message. Okay. Alright, boys, I'm heading out. Oh. Sorry about the mess here. Um, yeah, pretty bad, brother. I'm out of here. Okay. Alright, alright. We're gonna head to the uh, southern entrance to garbage because the northern one from here uh, runs right into like a Rostock checkpoint and I don't feel like dealing with that. Also there's a bunch of free stalkers there and like this little broken down building hotel thing. So there's this other one. Also if you didn't notice there's like a heat wave thing happening right here on top of that hill. Yeah. That seems to be like a permanent anom anomaly. And I like walked through there and it literally cooked my brain in like five seconds. So I don't know if you need um, some additional equipment or some psych resistant drugs to kind of make it through there, but I I don't want none of that smoke. So again, let me use my try and true technique and run a little bit, look and listen a little bit. Let's rock here. or see anything so and again this is another great part of this game right it's like man just just kind of walking through the zone and getting from one place to another is like its own little adventure oh get some rats there so I'll kind of sprint sprint jump okay it's like its own little adventure oh there we go all right we got something up ahead um actually we I don't know what that is. No, it's an anomaly. So, looks like a flesh or a pig up there. So, not a big deal, especially for the uh, Saiga shotgun here. NBD. Ooh, what's this? I've never seen this before. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like someone else has seen them. Just gonna kind of hang low here. See if they have spotted me yet. Hmm. Seems they're running off to chase something else. So I've never seen this little sewer grate here, and these little boxes. I'm just gonna take another look. These little boxes, if you hit them, shoot them, jump on them, kind of open, and give you some stuff. So like a radio, old radio, and some steel wool. Uh, sometimes you're they're like on a shelf and you can't jump on them. So. I don't find them worth the durability of my knife um, to cut open. Okay, random anomaly thing happening there. 
Alright, so they're still kind of milling about. And I could probably make it. Just a quick PDA check. Yeah, I can probably make it to the exit. That goes to the meadow. Yeah, I can make it to the exit now if I sprint, so. Here we go. Can't catch me, I am the gingerbread man. See you later. In here, yep, okay. Now, can mutants move between zones or areas in the zone? That was a great question. I am about to find out because I have no idea if they are hot in my tail. So, I'm going to come to this side, probably get on this rock, just kind of wait and see what happens. So I'll just, maybe I'll just kind of also keep it pushing a little bit. I got some pretty good armor when it comes to rupture and impact damage, so I can take a hit or two. So I'll just kind of keep it pushing, mindful of listening for what's behind me. Alright, so now I'm in garbage, and this place is primarily ran by the Free Stalkers. And, um, duty, I believe. Oof. Well, that really got darker. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, side storm. So this is this is a random event, and I think we're gonna have to run for him for the butcher's place. So I'm just gonna get living. Bad guy, oh grab. Got a rifle, got a rifle. Sorry guys, I gotta I gotta go. I gotta go. Can't be can't be a bother you guys. Oh. Okay, okay. It's kinda of me. Everyone's looking for shelter shelter right now, so I think that Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Alright bud. Oh god. Oh my god, that's a tank. Okay, so tank, left for dead. He's gonna take out some ecologists right there, and I'm gonna keep going. Because the Psy Storm is happening, I have plenty of stamina, I'm not looking back. I am really. So, again, oh my goodness, just running through the zone, and all these random things are happening. So, Psy Storm's coming. Um, I ran into what appeared to be a group of three stalkers with some ecologists. There's a giant. Uh, Goliath, I can't remember the actual name right now because I just really, really want to get inside before my brain gets fried. But it's a giant guy. Oh my god, it sounds so close. I am so screwed. So, maybe, maybe not. It seems like I am where I want to be. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, I don't know if it's occupied or friendly or enemy. A quick check, check of the PDA reveals that it is all enemy. So, I have to fight for my shelter. Alright, one down. Saw another one over here. Yep. Okay. Find a corner. I'm actually in shelter right now. Okay. okay. There a guy right there. Wow. Okay. So yeah, again, like cool. What a great showcase, right? Couldn't have asked for a better demonstration of what the zone does. So, random events. Oh, see, that's a side storm, right? So the side storm does like random, I guess, um, columns of psycho, whatever you would like to call brain scrambling microwave emissions. And the safest place is inside. Otherwise, we're crazy. This guy's friendly, by the way. Uh, I think his name is Butcher. Um, but yeah, as you can hear, it's still like random gunfire happening outside, so it sounds like people are still like fighting their way to shelter. Um, so they'll all run for the nearest shelter, and uh, you know, unfortunately, if they're different factions, they're just gonna have a shootout, like you saw. Sorry, I just thought I heard somebody reloading. Like you saw what happened when I got into the zone and started running for shelter, so. 
yeah, it is, uh, again, where, I can't think of another game that does something as well as this, where it's like, here you are, in the world, pick your alignment, and just kind of survive, right? Um, yeah, uh, so I guess while I'm here, I'll go ahead and finish this mission. I don't want to flag you, so, keep my weapon to the side, job is done. Thanks. Dog meat? No. Okay, never mind. Let's see what you got. Just shotguns and stuff. And looks like I survived the size storm. So. Thought I heard a mutant. Yep. That is definitely a mutant. Can't remember what they're called, but they're like cat like giant things that really jack you up if you don't have good armor. So, I'm going to go ahead and loot the people I had to dispatch to get in here. And again, yep, again. Duty, folks. Yeah, next to skeleton. Maybe we should look at that before. Um, deconstructing it. Or disassembling it, excuse me. But yeah, mostly duty and I'll wager this person is dressed like a free stalker. Yep. A free stalker. Disassemble. Disassemble. Loop and scoot. Okay, we're at 104.1. Which we are. Looks like I had a little steam notification, but. I really need to get back home. So. Well, actually, I. Could probably sleep here. Uh, oh, I got a stash here. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Okay, okay. So I could probably try and sell a few things to Mr. Butcher here, and then whatever I can't sell, I could stash and come back for. So I believe again that cry. I believe is called a lurker. Let's see if you can hear it again. I'll go back over this way. Shotgun out just in case. Here it is again. It's like a it's like a long horn hooting sound. That I believe is a lurker. And it's built like a cat, and they're usually more than one. I've never encountered a single one. And they will definitely jack you up. If you don't have good enough impact slash rupture resistant armor, so I don't want that smoke right now. I think I'm gonna light this because hopefully it brings some more banditos around. I don't really understand like the bonfire lighting mechanics of the game right now, um, so we will see. Go in here, don't flag you. Sell off as much weight as I can, which is absolutely no. Oh, you want meat? Okay. Cool. That's probably pretty heavy. Oh my goodness. I should not have picked that up, probably. I disassemble you. Yep. Okay. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay. Well, like I said, I don't find it cost effective to kind of keep parts, so I really don't care about that. Um. So it sounds like the lurker is that way, but I want to go that way still. Quick check at a PDF. Yep. Oh, there's actually a bandit out there. I'm gonna go check in on him. Also, there's a stash on the roof of the locomotive, so why not go check that out? Oh, wait, one second. Apologies. Okay, alright, we're rolling. Roof of the locomotive, which is covered in electrical anomalies, which I hate. So I'm going to chalk that one up as a loss. Any real count ball here? We're like approaching the beginning of nautical twilight. So, hey, is that my bandit friend? Is that you? Yep, that's him. Okay. 
I don't uh, see a safe way to get on that roof, therefore I'm going to reload. Probably not going to attempt it. Yo, there's two of yous. Privet. Yeah, I guess you don't want to give a greeting. Иди бугру по ушам катайся, а мои не казённые. I don't know what that means, but yeah, that was a hell of a storm. Whoa, you guys are hanging out in an anomaly. Ну чё ты зенки вылупил? Ну чё надо? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Whoa, look at that armor. You got like this death metal bat wing skull horn thing on you? Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, you want any work? Um, I don't have. Oh, 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 so, what that was like a localized anomaly that will absolutely kill you if you don't run from it. So. Something that should be addressed here, seeing as my friend on the left here is so close to that anomaly, is that I don't believe the human NPCs are affected by anomalies at all. Except for the world-based ones, such as the Psy Storm that you saw earlier, or there's another one that that happens, and I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a Firestorm-based one. But they'll definitely get murked by those, but the random anomalies in the game and those like special ones that just happened yeah they don't they don't care which is weird I don't know if that's intentional by the modders but it seems like the uh, uh, I, w I will tell you that the mutants will absolutely get jacked up by those so um, I've actually kited a mutant into an anomaly plenty of times and you know it's very successful so all right, so I came over here just to see if I could get to that stash that's on the rooftop of the locomotive. So it looks like it's covered. Oh man, it could be close. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. All right, quick, quick save because I am a cherry noob and I don't like the hardcore mechanics, which you can turn on if you want to which I don't play by, so... It looks like... Hmm. Gotta get my little icon out of the way. It's like up there a little bit. Um... Yeah, so there's definitely an electric anomaly there that's preventing me from getting it, which I'm not gonna risk. And... I don't know, maybe other people have had different experiences about it, but I think every, like, storm, whether it's the Psy Storm or the other one, um, I think they change the locations of the anomalies, so... If that is the case, that, that stash will be accessible at one point, so... I'll just keep an eye on it, and I'll come back, so... Okay, moving on. I'm gonna go to Agra... Uh, I can't pronounce it. Agropom? Agroprom. 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 Uh, yeah, I probably butchered that. But anyway, it doesn't like there's anything else happening. And the transition point should be right up here. Yep, okay, let's go. Now, this has what I believe to be the primary military base, which I have yet to assault, and can... Okay, so if you learned anything from the last 10 minutes, that howl, or hoot right there, is a lurker. And I don't want any of that smoke, so I'm gonna stay low, and go slow, and kind of walk this way. Uh, but... <sighs> okay, but like I was saying, this place has what I believe to be the main military base, um, which I kind of went close to and was promptly e escorted out of by gunfire um, for like a mission. 
still. So if you hear me like stilted in my speech, it's because I'm like listening and there's things happening in the environment which I don't I don't really know what is like approaching me if it's environmental or an NPC, so you're just gonna have to forgive me. Okay. So yeah, it's a big military base here, and then I believe like the rest of it is occupied by free stalkers and invite not environmental ecologists. So I do know there's a free stalker base in that general direction, and the military base is down this fork. So and at this point it is getting dark enough to use my handy dandy NVGs. And again, I splurged on myself and I think I have the highest tier, which I believe is trying to emulate the white boss of the current generation that um, most, I guess, um, what's the word I'm trying to use? Uh, first class countries uses, which is the white phosphorus. So, I've looked to repair these at one point. I think they're like 30 series and above, but I prefer the 20 series, which had uh, thermal plus zoom capability, which this, I believe the white FOSS 30 series does still kind of have the, the thermal overlay if you really wanted it. But I mean, uh, if I were to just really be honest, it's because I didn't want to change my helmet setup and, it, you know, required like cutting a lot of stuff and you know, screwing a couple bolts, and I just, I just didn't care that much because I found a 20 series, um, uh, you know, with a lot of overmatch as it was compared to adversaries. So, um, oh, what's this? I'll take that. Yeah, so I guess this is White Foss. Um, I would imagine with the field of view, it's like dual tube, but again, I like the 20s. Uh, oh, got to turn that off. Well, I've never seen a moving stash before. I do not know what that means, unless it's flying. What the heck? Is there a flying stash? Is there such thing as a flying stash? Devs! Is there such thing as a flying stash, or is it just moving really, really fast? Holy, what? Okay, well anyway, I came for these two, so I'm gonna grab this one, which is... Uh, if I shoot that bird down, there's a stash in it. It'd be amazing. So purple stash right here, so should be some tools or drug making kit. Which fair enough. One of my uh, bandit friends needs that, so totally okay with that. All right, so I'm gonna go get this lesser stash, which is down here, and ah, oh, like I said, I've been here before. So there's like a bandit tower right here. And I should remain out of line of sight from that by getting to this one. So, let's go. So yeah, maybe, maybe if I, maybe if I had, not necessarily the discipline. Oh, hey, what the heck? Can I get in here? Yo, let me in. Let me in. I need to do more squats, apparently. Oh, snap. What do you got on you? You got something on you? You got nothing on you. Oh, you got one of those things, so. Oh, I can't jump enough to break you, and so I don't care. Well, anyway, I... Quick save. It's been a while. So that is like a, um... I guess a special anomaly where you can find, um... I guess what you would call... Wait, what is it called? These things. Artifacts. Yeah, where you will find artifacts at, but I don't... One day I'll make a, a character which specializes in artifact gathering, uh, which is very lucrative, by the way, but I really don't care. So, anytime you see like those giant fireballs moving about, chances are there's something very expensive up there. So, uh, but like I said before, if I wasn't lazy, I would probably have the 30 series dual tube white foss experience, but 
again, I didn't, I didn't care. Twenties were, twenties were enough for me, and it worked really well in a lot of the force on force stuff. So, okay, quick PDA check, nods off. I passed it by a long shot. So nods on. That's just a fireball anomaly thing. It's okay. Probably not gonna cross the street. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, back this way. And so it's probably this thing. Is your typical stash box? Oh, great! It's like shotgun. Oh, it's shotgun. Okay. All right. What else do I want to get while I am here? In. Oh my god! You're gonna make me shoot you. Okay. I'm gonna go back this way, and I'm going to shoot the crow, which I think has a stash on him. And this will be a first. I have never encountered a flying stash, but as all things in the zone, you just kind of have to take them as they come. So, dodge from these anomaly, do a little bit of running around, do a quick save because it's nighttime, and the nastiest mutants come out at night. Wow, they're really following me. Okay. Alright. Which one of you has a stash? He's on my left. And. Right now it's behind me. Okay. So, one of you twos. That one. I'm gonna just shoot all of you down. Directly in front. Which means it's you. Please circle back. Alright, so I'm going to be crossing my right here shortly. Maybe it's you. Okay, that's another thingy happening. Please, please tell me it was you. It's not you. Well, okay, need a knife. Nothing useful. Okay. Okay, so this is another thing that's happening. It's a, uh, the other one, and I believe my closest shelter Oh, it's an emission. So my closest shelter is right there, but I'm probably going to run from that one because it's easier for me to clear. Hopefully there's less people in there. Um, the one it was, the PDA was trying to take me to is definitely a free stalker um, shelter. But this train station here can be occupied by um, a couple of factions. So I'm going to take it nice and slow. There could be some people running to this location. So the other one that, I'm whispering now because I'm so close, so the other one that world based thing is called an emission and that's just happening right now. So I didn't know the name of it but it is currently happening, again I have the advanced PDA, there are no friendly icons in here which means everyone in here is hostile. I'm going to switch to my battle rifle, I'm going to dispatch as many as I can shot right here. Step. One shot, one kill. Take it nice and slow because there may be others. That looks like a headlamp down there. If I can turn my nods off, see if I can see any better. Not really. Okay, nods back on. So another great thing about like these events and emissions is that your electronics are affected. So I'm not familiar with any type of like electromagnetic spectrum or you know things that happen, but I could it's not a far it's not far fetched to assume that the you know your lot the like your electronics will be affected. So what you saw there was like a firestorm. So I think the devs just didn't program um the, the firestorm's not going through approved shelters, so they do kind of come through the shelter and they will scare you, um, but they will not affect you, so, and, and that's okay, so, alright, just kind of, kind of, kind of move through here, I saw that one body, just kind of go to the back here, make sure there's not somebody else, like, hiding back here, second fire wave, Shelters, so it doesn't affect you, but 
if you were outside, it would absolutely one-shot you. So, be a check. That's back there, so a little bit further. I think the emissions have two fire waves. As you can see, things are kind of like settling now. And there still may be a person back here that didn't hear their poor friend get smoked by the bandit because of the silenced weapon. But a lit bonfire is definitely indicative of occupation. So, I don't see anybody else back here. Now it's off, lights on. So maybe there's only that one guy. Or gal. But, I've only ran into one, what I would assume to be woman, in the game. And they are in rookie village, so. Hmm. Guess I could sleep here if I didn't want to spend the rest of my night outside. Well, anyway. Going dark. Lights off. So, the emission is generally over. Guess there's only one guy in here. Probably three stalkers. Yep. Disassemble. Disassemble. Like we are ready to go. Nope. Also hungry. I like clean food, so I only eat cans. I don't eat any of the stuff that. Oh. Yeah. See, so it gives you radiation poisoning. So if it doesn't come out of a can or a tin or a box, I don't eat it because my bandit is bougie. Not unusual now that I have eaten um, with the obvious mastication happening. Uh, he is also thirsty. So, go ahead and take a swig from that old canteen. And we are ready to go. Okay, so I could sleep here because, you know, I kind of cleared this place out and there's a bed back there, but I don't feel too safe because this is like free stalker territory. You know what? I never tried to sleep in a territory that wasn't mine, so why not? C'est la vie. Let's give it a shot. If I die, I die. And if I don't, who knows? Well, regardless, I'm going to quick save, boop, and we'll see what happens. So, I kind of want to get up around first light, and we'll see if anything happens. Okay, still alive. Okay, good. Okay, uh, kind of thirsty, as usual, when you wake up. A little, little sippy sip there. Not hungry. Okay, things are looking good, so I'll, I'll just kind of head back home after this. Um, I'll just take another quick break. Uh, so, BRB. So, I think I've, I'm probably approaching like an hour here, so um, for, like, I guess upload limit sakes and your attention span in general, like mine, um, I'm probably just going to end this video right here. If you're interested in videos like this just kind of look out for the next one so but i think i think this is it so thanks again for watching and yeah i appreciate you taking your valuable time to, to join me in this and i hope you you know kind of look out maybe give the game a try because i i do wish that everyone can experience the same joy that i get from playing this game so until next time signing off